Okay, so we're gonna fight our very first boss, Bahamut. If that's how you pronounce it. A big, gigantic black dragon. Okay, let's go. Where's my sword? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Where's my sword at? Come on. There it is. Whoa, damn it. Okay. Wasn't looking forward to that. I had my sword and everything. What the hell? Whoa. Okay, get yourself back up, please. Thank you. That'd be so nice. Damn it, I missed. This will take a while. It does generally take a while. Come on, where's my sword? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There. No, not that. That. We're not doing any damage. Oh, we will. Oh, damn. No, don't throw that. Oh, damn it. It's in the sky. Oh. Stop it, goblin. Stop following me. Okay, I finally got him. After, like, almost an hour. <laughs> Those stupid goblins wouldn't leave me alone. Bad, very bad. Run! Do I? Ah. That was pretty entertaining, I must say. Entertaining? Keep in mind that I'm just flesh and blood. Unlike someone I know. That hostile isn't around, I guess. But where do you suppose we are now? It's the same feeling I got in those ruins. In the beginning, there were four crystals. And together, they formed one principle. Thus, the world was created. The four crystals next created humanity in their own image and presided over their destinies. 
Thus the four tribes were born. Lilti, Clavat, Selkie, and we, the Yuk. We are between existence and oblivion. It is where we Yuks have resided since we lost our tribal crystal. The Yuks? Let's go! Okay, we are in a place called Between Existence and Oblivion. Come on, can I catch a ride? Maybe I'm supposed to be elevated up. That's the place we've already been. Back on my bird. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like this. It reminds me of Twilight Princess for some reason. Zelda, Twilight Princess. It totally does. If it's lighting up, that means this is, this is like mega important. Probably. 